hello guys welcome to this another video in this video i'll show you the evaluation uh, on top of my test data so for that uh, there is a uh, another file inside this tool so let me show you uh, inside tools you have evil.py okay so evil.py if you see this is the evaluation uh, uh, code okay they have get given so like with that you need to give your data.yaml file path okay so this is the path you just need to copy and give here and your weights okay the train weights you got after training uh, your uh, like data uh, which model you got okay this model you need to pass here so under experiment i have weights and this base.pto okay i'll select the path and i will give it here okay that's it okay you have to give it uh, give like that so let me show you so see uh, you you need to copy till this point okay right like run and you will replace here okay so once it, once it is done you need to select your device so i am using gpu so i will be selecting gpu like zero okay so now if i run it so see it is loading my model after loading it has done the evaluation and all the evaluation metrics it is giving okay and it has saved my okay like artifacts inside this uh validation folder so now if i refresh here and if i go inside run uh, see there is a validation folder it has created an experiment and prediction.json okay so if you just open this prediction prediction.json so you will see all of my test data i have given here so inside this data.yaml okay so this is the validation data okay all my test data you will see all the detection points okay this is this is my image name this is the category of the images this is the bounding box like it has uh, detected okay and with the score of it is detected okay like the prediction is score it is also giving okay so you will get everything and you can also see the evaluation metrics uh, it has printed here like mean average precision and all okay like average precision average recall everything it has printed so yes so this was all the uh, all about this evaluation okay so in our next video i'll be showing you how to do the inferencing using my trend model so thank you so much guys for watching this video and i will see you next time